for material of the type that we produce, the number one objective should be to reuse that material. Secondly, if that doesn't work, it should be put in a permanent uh, a storage facility. And third, in our licence, it says if neither of those two things are successful, then we, we should ship it back to Australia. Uh, so it is stored in um, uh, properly constructed uh, storage facilities, which are consistent with the requirements for a permanent deposit facility. But well, it is not a lightness storage facility? Well, no, it's stored on our site in purpose-built residue storage facilities, <coughs> which are constructed according to permanent deposit facility requirements. If you look at our material, it is very low level radioactivity. You run a Geiger counter over it and it goes beep, 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 beep. Uh, if you get some black sand, sand from Langkawi Beach and you run a Geiger counter over it, it goes beep, 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 right? If you take a book and you put it on top of the container and you run a Geiger counter over it, it goes beep, beep, beep. beep, beep. And if you do the same with the black sand from Langkow, it goes beep, beep, beep. So, the requirements for construction of the PDF are very clear. It is about ensuring that it is lined, that it has um, uh, uh, drainage so that you don't get anything which seeps into the in surrounding <coughs> environment. So it is completely contained. And then what we do is that we store that and then we cover it with a heavy lining, much heavier than a book, which ensures that that radioactivity cannot affect those around. But notwithstanding all of that, as you would have seen in the video, since Linus started operating, we take measurements at the plant, one kilometre, five kilometres, 10 kilometres and 20 kilometres from the plant, there has been no change in background radiation.